Welcome back. We're in the middle of a heat wave. I'm sure you feel it. Scorching temperatures right now forcing folks to stay indoors, but some are concerned that the device that they're using to stay cool could help spread COVID-19. So joining us right now, 13 X News reporter Kelsey McFarland. She's live from Char Charlie Freehis Park to explain what the risk of using the AC is. Yeah, Kalina, good morning. The sun is barely up. We're already feeling the heat, which is why so many families head to parks like this where they can get to a splash pad. And if that's not enough, they seek air conditioning. But here's the thing. We're in a heat wave and a global pandemic. Scientists say there is a risk that air conditioning units could create a strong enough air current to move virus containing droplets around a room. In January in China, a person with the virus infected five other people sitting at neighboring tables and researchers claim the outbreak was caused by strong air currents from the AC. They also point out it was a poorly ventilated restaurant. Local doctor Neil Gokul says air conditioning is a necessity right now because heat can kill too. You just have to be cautious. And it's important to recognize that those happened in crowded public places, which is the reason that we've had many recommendations to distance ourselves whenever possible and when not possible to at least make sure we're wearing masks to be protecting ourselves. Now to help a room's ventilation, you can open the doors and windows and turn on the fan mode a few hours before and after visitors. Now for taxi drivers or Uber drivers, experts suggest turning your car AC's recirculation off to make sure you get some fresh air in the vehicle. And if you're headed to a restaurant, doctors say it's probably the best choice to sit outdoors, but in heat like this, you'll probably want to uh, sit near some misters or wear fans. And Justin, a lot of people taking your advice this morning and heading out before 9 a.m. We're getting some joggers here and people enjoying the quote unquote cooler t conditions. Yeah, you know, we're the city that never sleeps, and I think part of that is because we've got to get up at like 5.30, 6.30 in the morning to squeeze our exercise in.